has been caught on camera roaming the streets of Tehachapi, putting some there on edge tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jessica Harrington. 23 ABC's Scott Sheehan went to Tehachapi today and has more on what to do if you come in contact with these animals. Scott? Neighbors tell me they first saw this unwanted guest in October. One neighbor came face to face with it in her backyard, and she says it was terrifying. I was freaked out. I was panicked. All I could do is cry and I'm pounding on the window. That's how Tamar Heffington reacted last month when she says this mountain lion attacked her dog in her backyard. I heard a loud thug, so I turned the porch light on, unlocked it up here, and as I was getting ready to unlock it, the mountain lion was jumped on my dog and had her trapped underneath. Heffington has lived in her home for 15 years. She says this is the first time she's seen a mountain lion near her home and caught one on her surveillance camera. The whole area is fenced and we never would thought that a mountain lion would come in and attack our dogs. Neighbors tell me they're scared who the mountain lion will attack next. We uh, have to change our schedule and, you know, think ahead so when we bring our dogs out we have to keep them on leashes whereas before we would just open the front door and let them out. We were worried about letting our kids play out front. Everybody has their guns loaded and ready because they're worried about their own kids and their own pets in this neighborhood. Heffington says she won't feel here. safe in her backyard again until ran. the mountain lion leaves. They're beautiful but when it attacks your animal I'm sorry. She was part she was my kid. You know She's part of the family. If you see a mountain lion, our state, our local state wildlife biologist says stay calm. Don't approach or run away from the animal. And uh, if you have to be intimidating and yell and wave your arms and try to be as loud as possible. And if it comes to it, throw rocks and sticks to fight it off. Now, that same biologist says that you're only allowed to shoot one of these animals if it's either attacking you or one of your animals. In the studio, Scott Sheehan, 23 ABC News. Bakersfield man sentenced.